Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the new Wix Studio editor. Let's go ahead and get started. So I opened up a blank website here in the Wix Studio editor. And initially, this reminds me a lot of Figma, if I'm being completely honest, just the minimalistic design and everything just makes me feel a lot more at home because when I design websites, I typically do them in Figma. So just having this design already is really cool to me. Um, I just like the minimalistic look and feel of this editor. But interestingly enough, the minimalistic simple look does not mean that there is a lack of features that Editor X had. Everything basically is still here. It just looks really, really sleek. But I figured we could start from the left to right to kind of discuss everything that's inside the editor. Over here on the left, we have the add panel. If you've used Wix or Editor X, you're already pretty familiar with this. This is more in line with Editor X's add panel because it has this quick add with containers, repeaters, and stuff like that all right here. What I will say is it doesn't look like there's any layouters here in the Wix Studio. So if you are used to having layouters, I don't really see those anymore. And to be completely honest, I rarely ever use layouters myself. I always used grids and repeaters anyway. So to me, it's not even like a huge deal. So my initial thoughts on no layouters is perfectly fine. I don't really, like I said, like I really didn't even really use them in Editor X anyway. Um, I just stuck to grids and repeaters for the most part. But everything else here in the ad panel seems to be exactly the same as Editor X. Underneath the ad panel, we have the layers panel. So if you're used to Editor X, you're probably already used to the layers panel. However, if you're used to the classic editor, then this layers panel is actually more useful in Wix Studios and Editor X than it was in the classic editor because it actually works like how you would expect. Whereas the classic editor, everything's kind of in random orders and it's harder to find things. Also the layers panel in the classic editor is just hard to find. You have to go to tools and open up the layers panel. But here it is right on the UI, just right here, which I think is really nice. Underneath that, we have our pages. So just like with Editor X and Wix, we can easily add pages and press the three dots to edit settings for those. So SEO, social share, rename, duplicate, edit page. We can get add-ons and add comments and go into the settings. This is very simple and I think it looks really clean. Underneath that, we have global sections. So if we're comparing this to Editor X, this is basically the masters. They just renamed it to global sections, but it acts exactly the same. Now, if you are more used to the classic editor, um, think of this as headers and footers because these are sections that basically appear on all of your pages. Now, I do plan to make a video on this in the near future, but if you really want to learn about global sections in Wix Studio, then just go watch my Editor X Masters video because that basically explains exactly how this works and it's exactly the same. Underneath that, we have our site style. So this is where we change our fonts, our colors, and stuff like that for our website. Again, this basically acts exactly the same as Editor X. And if you have libraries and stuff like that, you can press more styles and you can save to a library or open libraries and basically bring over fonts and colors from another website or library. Underneath that, we have the app market. Over here, we have the app manager. So all of the apps that you currently have installed, you can manage them from this tab. The app market lets you find apps that you want to install. And then custom apps right below that allows you to build custom apps for your website and even upload them to the app market to for others to use. Underneath the app market is CMS. Again, this is something that works almost identically to the Wix and Editor X CMS. There's really not gonna be any changes here. And then below that, we have the code panel. Something that I really do find interesting about this is that it's on the side now. So if I go ahead and press start coding, instead of the coding panel being at the bottom and stretching the full width of the screen, it's now over here on the left. Now, some of you might be saying like, it's covering up half the website. How am I supposed to edit the design or select something to code. And the cool thing is, is it allows us to scroll over. So we can easily just kind of change this. And even though I haven't talked about this quite yet, 
We can even come over to zoom and we can zoom out and be able to select items here, especially if we're still kind of designing them inside of the inspector panel, which again, I haven't really talked about quite yet, but I really do like the way that this coding panel looks. Right here at the top, we have the page code. So we're on the home page. So any code in here would only affect items on the home page. Then we have global code. Similar to global sections, this is gonna be global code. So any code added into here, into this little text area, will be affecting, could affect anything that you code on your entire website. And then below that, we have CSS. Now CSS allows us to design things on our website. And I'm gonna be making a video on that here pretty soon. But we can go ahead and close out of that because we basically covered everything that you really need to know over here on this left bar. However, there are some icons down here at the very bottom. The first one is comments. So you, your teammates, or even clients can leave notes on the page letting you know of things that they wanna change. Underneath that, there is video tutorials. So if you wanna learn more about Wix Studio, you can easily find that here. And then last but not least, there is the obvious little help icon here. We can go to the help center, keyboard shortcuts, go to the community or hire people or contact customer support. Now over here on the top bar, right here, if we click the Wix Studio logo, we can go to the dashboard for the website. We can go to site and we can preview, publish, transfer. We can create a new site, duplicate, rename, go to the website settings, SEO, site history, social share, and we can even invite people and set permissions for them. Underneath that is tools. So we have libraries, media manager, multilingual site checker, and editor add-ons. Underneath that, we have go to sites, which will just take you to your sites dashboard, and then you can upgrade the premium plan. Next to the Wix Studio logo, we have our page dropdown. So when we add more pages, we can easily just select which page we want to go to. Next to that is the little auto saved little text here, basically saying that anytime we make a change to the website, it's going to basically auto save it for us. But I just made a change that I didn't want to make. So we can come over here to undo, simply undo it. Of course, there is a redo button if you want to use that as well. But let's go ahead and move over here to the middle. So of course, this acts similar to Editor X, where we have a desktop, a tablet, and a mobile breakpoint. One thing that I do want to note about this is when we resize the screen just to check the responsiveness, as soon as you let go of the mouse, it pops back into place. So it's not like Editor X where you could easily just move it and it stays there. It actually, like if I move it and then take my hand off the mouse, it goes back to your editing size. I do like this feature, especially in most instances. However, I do wish that there was some sort of feature that I could toggle on and I could have it stay in one position. Maybe that is a feature that will come at some point in the future. But if you don't like the size that you're starting out with, you can easily just click this and maybe we want to do 1440 as our editing size because if you use Figma a lot, I know a lot of people use 1440 as their starting design layout. So you could easily just set this to 1440 just like that. I typically actually set it to 1920. I just find this a little bit better for me. But I will say in this editor, it I do think that this size actually looks perfect. So I might change that up here pretty soon. And the last thing I'll kind of say about these as well is in Editor X, if I wanted to go to tablet, I could just bring these in and go to tablet. In Wix Studio, this is not possible. I am trying to go as small as possible and it is not getting any smaller. You actually have to click on tablet and now you can check out the tablet breakpoint. But once again, if I go super far to the left, I'm not going to the desktop. And if I go super far to the right, I'm not going to mobile. I will say that this feature and the fact that this kind of goes back to our um, editing size, I like these features. I kind of wish that there was a toggle, 
But at the same time, this might just be coming from a place of being so used to Editor X. Over time, I might not feel like those features that I want now are necessary in the future. So who knows, maybe I'll just get used to this and I'll actually like this more. I kind of already showed this earlier, but you can obviously like zoom in and zoom out with this little option here. Over here on the right, we have our undo, redo, we have our notifications, and then we have preview and publish. Preview, of course, lets you preview the website, and then publish will make those changes live on your website. Underneath the publish button is this little arrow right here, um, and it basically says open the inspector panel. I actually really like that this little inspector panel is kind of tucked away, but it's really easy just to open it and you can, of course, you can basically change anything that you want here in the editor. Now what I will say is, is typically in Editor X, you're gonna have your sizing options be a lot bigger. However, if I just zoom in real quick, you're gonna see that our editing size right here is 1440 pixels with a little asterisk. Same with the height, it's a pixel with an asterisk. The asterisk is basically saying that on our editing size of 1440, then the height is 563. However, because the responsive behavior is set to scale proportionately, if I come down to tablet, you'll notice that the width and the height both change. It is scaling proportionately to whatever screen size your user is on. Now our editing size is set to 1440. So if someone is viewing your website with a screen of 1440, then the height of the section would be 563 pixels. However, for someone on a smaller screen size, the height would be a little bit smaller, but it still would be relative to this 563 from our editing, editing size of 1440. I hope that kind of makes sense. But of course we can also change the responsive behavior by setting it to a fixed height or fixed to screen. Also, we can come over to size and press this three dots and turn on advanced sizing. And this is something that you're probably gonna remember from Editor X. You get the minimum width, the maximum width, minimum height, maximum height, all that stuff right here if you want it. But for the rest of it, it's basically the same exact thing as Editor X. But next to that, we have interactions. So here is where we can add hover, click, scroll. Um, depending on the element that we have selected, we're gonna have other options. So if I drag out this little icon, we can do entrance and loop animations as well. And the last thing we'll cover is CMS connections. So we can add a data set and connect things right from the inspector panel now. I actually think that that's really, really cool. And I'll be sure to make a video on that very, very soon. But this is basically everything you really need to know about the Wix Studio Editor. I'm very interested to hear what you guys think of this editor. If you guys like it or prefer like the Editor X layout, I'm very interested. So be sure to leave comments below on your thoughts of this new Wix Studio Editor. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all in the next one.